Hi everyone, my name is Dev and welcome to the third video of the Revit Quick Tip series. In this video, we're going to be talking about temporarily applying properties to views. All right, so this video will either be useful to you or someone else that you work with that messes up your view templates, especially when it comes to deadlines. So you might want to share it with that person. So usually when we have a view template, we can't edit anything in the view that's being assigned to the view template. That's constrained, you know, that's the whole point of the view template. So if you go here to the view template and you can see include all of these, these elements won't be editable. But sometimes we might actually want to inspect something in the model or, you know, turn off a category without creating a new view. So people either do this through editing the main view template or they also just disassociate the view template and set it to none so they can start editing it. There's another way to do this. And this is temporarily applying the property. So if you go to the bottom of your Revit tab, you'll see this button here called temporary view properties. It's right near the light bulb. If you click on this and then click on enable temporary view properties, you can see that even though we have our view template on, we can now start editing this uh, just temporarily without messing up the view template. So if I just turn off, I don't know, for example, floors and walls, they'll be gone from this view. I haven't actually edited the view template, so it's safe, especially for other views. And this will stay in your Revit session until you either disable this thing by going here and clicking it again so it's disabled or until you close your project. Even if I close this view um, and I go back to it, the temporary view properties are still applied. So it's really useful. Another useful thing about this feature is we can also apply another view template temporarily. So if I go here and go to temporarily apply template properties and I don't know, I want to see the site plan for it and I hit OK. You can see that the thing has changed. Um, again, I haven't actually edited the view template on the view. This is only shown for me for the user and for everyone else, their view will be the same. So yeah, this is the best way to temporarily change graphics on a model whenever you need to inspect something. Again, if you go down here, you can always untick this or click restore view properties. Again, if you're going to do this every session for the same view, you might as well just duplicate your views and create your own um, view template and assign it to it. But if you only need this once in a while for a view and it's not worth creating, then definitely use this. It's a far less destructive method for everyone in the model. Cheers.